How to use the Firefox browser part 3 history bookmarks tools and help menus the history menu shows a list of the web pages you have visited recently and you can revisit any one of them by clicking it on this list it has some options at the top to show all history and clear recent history I usually leave it alone and just let it show whatever it wants to and then it has more things on it you can select from. I don't really use the history that much. I, we pointed out when we talked about the file menu that there is this new private window command and what that does is when you open a new window in the browser with this command it does not put the address of that uh, website in the history. You would use that if you wanted to visit a website and you didn't want your maiden aunt to sit down in your computer and look at your history and have apoplexy. Bookmarks. These show all the bookmarks you've saved in Firefox. They are websites you would like to visit again. There's a lot of options on this page. I'm not going to go over all of them. If the current web page was open from a from a bookmark in Firefox, clicking edit here will let you change the name of it, will let you remove it, will let you change where you store it in Firefox, and then provide some identification information. If the current web page was not opened from a Firefox shortcut, like you searched for it and opened it or you clicked a uh, shortcut on your desktop this line would instead say bookmark this page if you click it it will bookmark it in the unsorted bookmarks list and then this message would change to show edit this bookmark then if you click it again, it will let you change the name of the bookmark and specify where in Firefox you want it saved. And normally I save those on the bookmarks toolbar, which is this line right here. Makes it very easy to find it again later if it's something you want to find frequently. We described the bookmarks toolbar and how it works in more detail in part one of this video series. The Tools menu downloads will show you a list of files you are currently downloading and will tell you how far along they are. They will show you how big the files are and how much of them has been downloaded right now. It will also give you a list of files you have downloaded since the last time you cleared the downloads list and there is an option on that list to clear the list. Add-ons brings up a screen that will let you manage the add-ons you have installed in your Firefox browser. It will let you disable or enable them and it will let you remove some of them that aren't connected to other programs you can't remove. You can also use uh, features on this screen to find other add-ons to install in Firefox. I don't use this feature don't really use this feature. Page info. If we look at page info for a, an open web page, it will show you the address of the web page, uh, what kind it is, uh, some stuff I have no idea what it is. It'll show you the size of the web page and it'll show the date that web page was last modified. That's more interesting when it's one of your own web pages. It'll refresh your memories when you update it last. And this command options lets you change everything you always wanted to change in Firefox. When you click that, it has a huge number of things that affect how Firefox works. You can tell Firefox when it starts, show my home page, or 
show a blank page, or just show me the window I was on when I closed it last. I normally have it show my home page because I use the home page to jump to all the websites I normally look at. The home page, you can reset your home page, and this is the page. If you have this option selected, this home page is the page your browser will start on. If you don't have this option selected, the home page is the option is the page you will open when you click this house symbol at the top of your browser page. I normally have it set not to both go there when you click the house symbol and to open on the home page. The way to set the home page is you first open the page you want to be your home page, then you click this box that says use current page. That's the easiest way to set your home page. Here's an option of where you want downloads to be saved when you uh, click a download button on a website. And the, it's an easy one you save it to downloads, but you can change that by browsing. So you can, you can save the downloads anywhere you want them in your computer. Or you can click this and it'll just always ask you to browse to specify where you want to store a download that you're just starting. The tabs menu. Oh, by the way, let's check. When you change anything on this page, you need to click OK at the bottom, otherwise that change doesn't really get made. Tabs. Some options about tabs. Remember, remember tabs show up across here and you can switch back and forth between them when you open web pages as tabs. You can select this option is open all new windows in a new tab instead of as a new window to open them as a tab. And there's all kinds of options here. You can read those over. I'm not going to go over all of them here. Content. This shows the default font you've selected and the size you've selected. So if you have this website open, it says it is Times Roman, it's size 20. If you then use the control plus and minus to zoom in or out on the website and you click the reset, it will come back to Times New Roman 20, size 20. You can, you can also set some things like colors and stuff, but I don't really use those. And I have my browser set to block pop-up windows uh, what it'll do is it'll ask you each time it's uh, about to open a pop-up, do you really want to do this if you have that box checked? And I recommend you check it. Most pop-ups are basically ads and you really don't want to waste your time with them. Applications, don't use it. Privacy, I'm not really concerned about privacy. I don't use this feature at all. Security. Now, well, it gives you some useful warnings, but also, if you don't have a security program that has a built in password feature to fill in passwords for you, I suggest you check this box. It says remember passwords. That'll let Firefox remember the passwords in the Firefox files. And you also have the option to say use a master password, and that means if if one of if your Aunt Minnie sits down at your computer and tries to open one of your miscellaneous websites, when it wants a password, she'll have to provide this master password for it to fill in the password. You can see the list of saved passwords that Firefox has saved. As I have said before, though, I don't let Firefox handle the passwords for me. I let the Norton security program handle my passwords in this feature called the Vault. It works much better than the feature in Firefox. Gives you a nice easy list to edit. If you change a password, it will also fill in credit card information on websites you're ordering stuff on. It'll save and, and fill in the blanks on uh, forms like that that have password that have credit card information. That's pretty much everything on this, this uh, security site that I use. Sync I don't use. Advanced. 
I you can look through that. I I don't know that I use any of these features other than just leaving them alone. I I think I let them all uh, uh, do their default thing. Uh, if you really want to tweak your uh, browser, you don't like the way it's doing something, you might look through all these advanced options and see if there's an option in there to change something. Well, for instance, always check to see if Firefox is the default browser on startup. And it says Firefox is currently my default browser. Every browser has a feature that if it isn't your default browser and you open it by clicking on the browser icon, it'll have a feature somewhere in it and it may ask you when you open it, do you want to make me your default browser? The ones that are not your default browser will a lot of times ask you that question. If you answer yes, it'll make that browser your default browser. Firefox is my default browser, so it doesn't ask me that question. The default browser, again, if you save a website, URL or shortcut, from an open website in any browser except the Internet Explorer browser, and you then open that shortcut later, it will open that shortcut, that web page, in your current default browser. Internet Explorer is an exception to that. If you save a shortcut on your desktop from Internet Explorer, Mr. Gates will demand that that shortcut opens with Internet Explorer no matter what your default browser is set to. That's pretty much all the uh, options that, that I ever look at, and you're welcome to browse in there. There are a lot of options. For instance, smooth scrolling. You, if you turn that off, the scrolling will look a little jerky, but it'll also operate a little e faster. Use hardware acceleration when available. This can cause you problems with certain programs. That's why it's turned off. In fact, some of the programs, if you Google a trouble you're having, it'll say, hey, why don't you try turning off your hardware acceleration? And sure enough, fixes the problem. That's pretty much everything on the Tools menu. The Help menu has Firefox Help, has a tour of Firefox, just tutorials of what you can do around Firefox. Has a list of the, all the keyboard shortcuts that work here. Uh, all kinds of good stuff here. Uh, if you're having trouble with something and you think it's caused by an add-on, you can restart Firefox with all the add-ons disabled to see if the problem goes away. And the About Firefox will show you the current version and whether or not it's up to date. I recommend you always keep your browsers up to date and I recommend you always install Firefox, Internet Explorer, Safari, and Chrome because you will find some websites that work better with certain browsers. That is the end of this tutorial series. Thanks for watching and if you would like to check out another browser I have tutorials on Internet Explorer, Chrome, and Firefox and I have some general tutorials that describe features in those browsers and in the Safari browser. Thanks for watching.